metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Ladies and gentle creatures, it's that time of year again. Cast your eyes on this fierce competition for Miss Macrocosm. Tonight, you will determine the winner by means of popular vote. Hey, don't forget that you promised her your vote. Don't forget our deal. <gasps> there can only be one. But who? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's unanimous! <laughs> the votes are in! According to our audience, this year's Miss Macrocosm is, unsurprisingly, Rosa! <gasps> Congratulations, friend! <sighs> and now, let's see what you've won! Come on, Chef, let's eat! Best cake in the universe. <clears throat> Miss Macrocosm, made for you. Fantastic. Mm. <laughs> All good. <laughs> oh, Rosa, just like the Macrocosm itself. Like all space, you just remain the same. Well, actually, Wally, space is always changing. The universe is expanding and will keep doing it forever. Um, kind of like uh, a balloon. No. Oh. Oh. Can the universe grow until it explodes? Oh, of course not. Let me explain it to you. At one time, the universe as we know it didn't even exist yet. So where was it? Sleeping? Not exactly. Before the universe, there was no mass, no energy, and even no time. Ooh, look! I'ma touch the thing! Stop! Better give that thing some space. At least a few billion billion miles worth of space. That tiny speck houses everything that will ever exist. And it's about to get a big wake-up call right about... Now! Welcome to the Big Bang! This is the moment at which time and space start to exist, and matter, and mass, and energy, and everything in between. These particles sped out from that explosion and eventually started to form stars and planets. It took 13.8 billion years for the universe to expand and create our world as we know it today. It's still speeding away? It's not just speeding away, Crash. It's getting faster and faster. It's the opposite of what you'd imagine, right? Scientists aren't exactly sure why this is. There's matter called dark energy that fills up most of the universe we can see. Our macrocosmos is expanding and we don't know why. We've got no idea. I am expanding, just like the cosmos. Just no point in denying it. Tomorrow, I'll change. It's time for a workout. Whoa, what's this? Oh! What's going on? Anyone there? What is this? Who are you? I am the universe. I'm everything. The expanding cosmos. And you are? Oh, I'm Miss Macrocosmos, beauty queen. Though recently I've gained a, gained a few inches here and there. Gained a few inches, huh? 
Oh, friend, I grow millions and millions of miles every second. That sounds a bit dangerous. I'd be afraid that one day I just might, you know, explode. Explode? Explain. Like this. Watch. How do I stop it? It's self-discipline. Just uh, avoid carbs. Aw, oh, come on now. But bread is so good. But so is not exploding. Let's be diet buddies together. I'm baffled, but our universe has stopped expanding. And actually, it's... it's shrinking. I can't believe it. Hooray! Atta girl! She's doing it! There's nothing good about this! I don't feel like things are shrinking. We can't be shrinking! This is a big deal here. Scientists have confirmed that the universe is shrinking. <laughs> How'd they do it? A big tape measure? I don't think that's what universal size means. Super long! <laughs> Not quite. Astronomers use a tool that is much more precise than that, which is light. Light? Of course it's light. In space, distance is measured by light years. One light year is the distance light can travel across the vacuum of space in one year's time. And there are thousands and thousands of light years between each star. I still don't get it. We use light to measure space? And we can see that it's shrinking? Easy! We know light is made of many different colors and waves. The color we see depends on that light ray's wavelength. Here's how scientists know which wavelength is which. Red has the longest wavelength, while violet has the shortest. Stars usually glow yellowish-white. They're constantly moving, which is how we can see them. The color of a star can tell us which way it's moving in relation to us. For example, if a star is coming near us, the light appears blue because of the shorter wavelength. And if it's speeding away from us, that light appears more reddish. The wavelengths are longer. So if the universe expanded away from us, the stars would be redder? You're precisely correct. Even now, the stars are changing. Now they're blue, so the universe is shrinking. It's coming in quickly. Who cares? She's a beautiful universe. It's her choice. Well, we should care if we want to survive. This has some serious implications. Shortly, it seems the cosmos will reverse back to the Big Bang. Just a small dot. Um, so we'll get squished? We won't feel it. We'll burn up long before that happens. As stars get closer, the temperature will continue to rise, and all life will become extinguished in fire. 
<laughs> we'll explode, huh? No. First, we'll catch fire. Man, this is gonna be crazy! What a ride! Whee! <gasps> hey! Miss Universe! Hey, workout pal! So, notice anything different? Like a few billion light years? Soon I'll be my goal size, my pre Big Bang weight, <laughs> just a point. Listen, you're setting impossible standards. You're jealous? No, actually not. Why, you're looking blue, and it's getting too hot. But it is my choice. Plus, I don't even crave sugar anymore. But you're beautiful just as you are. The wonderful, endless universe. You're all that is. You can't let your size define you. Plus, there's no point in lying to ourselves. Bread is just perfection. Um, I don't know. You're saying I should expand, huh? Just be yourself, girl. Everyone benefits from just being themselves. I should know. I miss macrocosm. I'm... The universe. I should decide for myself what beauty means. I reject ridiculous beauty standards. I am the all powerful. And you're right, Red Rocks. Yeah! Well, I guess this is it. We'll all be swallowed by the cosmos. Hmm. Question, do you spell it last testament or test o -ment? Oh, Will, no one will be here for your stuff. I have good news! The universe is going to be just fine! Ha! You guys, we all get to live another day! <laughs> hey! Who said you get all the cake, Missy? You're welcome for saving the universe. She's beautiful. <laughs> So am I. Eat up, Rosa. I think we can all agree you're perfect <laughs> how you are. Agreed, agreed. Miss Macrocosm. <laughs> the universe's expansion was discovered by three scientists, Saul Perlmutter, Brian Schmidt, and Adam Reese. They figured out that the universe was expanding, though we still can't pinpoint the reason. They were each awarded the Nobel Prize for their astounding discovery.